Hi everyone, I'm Erica and welcome to Retro Beauty Monday. Typically I'd be coming at you guys with a hair tutorial, but it's really hot today and I was having a good wave day, so I didn't want to set my hair because it, it very rarely looks okay naturally. So I thought I would share with you guys a good old fashioned favorites video. It's been a long, long time. But there are some things I've discovered in the last few months that I'm using every time I wash my hair or put makeup on or every night before I go to bed. So I thought it'd be a good time to share them with you. So first of all, I found a new shampoo. This is A Cure Argan Ultra Hydrating Shampoo Argan and Pumpkin. This is actually a very hydrating shampoo. My hair was extremely dry because of the dry spring we were having here in Washington. And this has really helped. Honestly, all this natural wave you're seeing is pretty much because of this shampoo. I've used it twice now and it has been utterly fantastic. The only warning I will give you is that it smells very strongly of argon oil, which is sort of this vanilla nutty kind of scent. If that does not appeal to you, you may not like this. Speaking of strongly scented products, which I usually avoid, but this has also been a life lifesaver. Um, because it has been so dry, again, and because I wash my hands about four million times a day, um, I'm using the Burt Bees Almond and Milk Hand Cream. This is a um, hand cream that's extremely thick and emollient. And I use this at night before I go to bed and it is fantastic. It smells very strongly of almonds, like very strongly, but that smell dissipates fairly quickly and it really does a good job of keeping my hands and my elbows and all the rough places feeling a lot better. So, got a few makeup things to talk about. All of them are being worn right now. So, first and foremost, I found a new foundation. Here is my skin today. I'm wearing this foundation with pretty much only concealer right under my eyes, and it is a wonderful light coverage foundation for dry to normal skin. And that is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Tinted Moisturizer, and I use the shade 5N. So if you are a person with more mature skin, because it has hyaluronic acid in it, so it really does leave your skin feeling really nice, um, I would definitely recommend this if you're dry to normal. <clears throat> I don't know why, oh, my throat. Ha, sorry guys with the coughing. Okay, so dry to normal. Um, if you're oily, you probably wouldn't like this because it would really move around a lot, but I love it. And I am a pale to light olive skin tone, like undertone, with uh, like a cool cast. So I'm like a cool light olive, which is like a weird foundation to match. I've talked about it before. Um, but the 5N, their neutral actually seems neutral. It doesn't turn yellow on me. It doesn't turn super pinky orange on me. It's just a good color. So I'm 5 in. This um, is pretty sheer coverage, so it's not like, I guess I'll swatch it for you guys. Um, it is not going to give you like full coverage. See, it just kind of blends right in and disappears, but it gives a nice dewy look to the skin. You can powder it like strategically, like I powder around my nose typically and my forehead, but leave the rest and it works really well. Then I've got two blushes from ColourPop that I've been using for a while and I'm wearing them today. I'm wearing both of them today layered. And these are the blush sticks from them. These are so good. Like I love a cream blush, but most of them are kind of too dry or too gooey or too gross, but these are really great. So I have the shade Pretty Thing, which again, I'll just swatch. There it is. And I have this on like the high part of my cheek today. I'll try to blend it out so you guys can see just, it blends out really nicely on hydrated skin, especially over the tinted moisturizer. 
And then I've got the shade Cool It, which is a neutral to cool tone. So what I do is I put that on first. Blend that out. See, it's got like a nice sheen. So I put that on first, and then I put a little dot of the brighter pink one, and it gives a really, I think, a nice dewy effect on the cheek. So highly recommend the blush sticks. And then my lipstick today, which I've been wearing quite a bit, is a combination of two kind of interesting ones. One is an Urban Decay color that they only have on their website. So I, want, I was interested in this because I wanted a pink for summer. This is Caliente, and it's only on the Urban Decay website, and I could not find anybody who used it except Temtalia. And on Temtalia, it looks really, 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 really bright, so I was kind of scared of it. So there it is. But what I do is I put it on, it's a cream formula, so I put it on and then I blot it down, and then if I'm feeling extra fancy, I will go old school. Um, NYX Butter Gloss, yes, they still sell them, and this is the color Vanilla Cream Pie. And this is a very light, kind of neutral pink. And the two of them, I'll just put them over each other, but the two of them together are what I'm wearing right now. And there it is. And as you can see, it gives you a pink with a little bit of depth, but not full on like neon pink like some of their other colors like Frenemy or Anarchy are. So it's just a slightly softer pink. It's not a super blue undertone. So I would say it's just a good medium pink that gives you that bright summer pink without going all the way to like a coral. So yeah, that is my favorites right now. It's things I have been really enjoying and wearing. I hope that this was interesting for you guys and uh, I'll see you in my next video.